Video, like every art form, has its innovators and its titillators, the latter invariably stirring up some controversy for one reason or another. While MTV's standards, much like the times, are ever evolving, there are some basic guidelines. Logos equal free advertising, a definite no-no. Neil Young found this out the hard way when his scathing This Notes For You was banned from the channel for promoting the very corporations the song mocked. Neil got the last laugh, however, as the video took home Video of the Year honors at the 1989 MTV Video Music Awards. Speaking of corporations, Madonna was dropped by Pepsi that same year because of her Like a Prayer video and commercial. Stigmata, burning crosses, and other religious symbolism were deemed too offensive by Pepsi, who dropped the ad and Madonna. The material girl did get to keep her $5 million paycheck. And one year later, Madonna's Justify My Love was banned from MTV because of nudity and sexual content. This also turned out to be a blessing in disguise as Madonna made a bundle selling it as the first ever video single. And that's not all for the Big M. Her erotica video, while never completely banned, wound up running only after midnight due to its risque content. Other videos that ran into trouble for being too sexy include Bon Jovi's Living in Sin, Shares If I Could Turn Back Time, Motley Crue's Girls, 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 Sir Mix-a-Lot's Baby Got Back, Two Live Crew's Me So Horny, and George Michael's I Want Your Sex, which actually ran with a disclaimer to clarify that the song was a tribute to monogamy. It can be a question of life or death. Another video that warranted a disclaimer was Wax's California, due to a previous MTV controversy involving Beavis and Butthead and a tragic fire. Other questionable imagery is the use of crucifixion, as in the case of Soundgarden's Jesus Christ Pose, which was never shown because of its graphic visual content. However, Nirvana's heart-shaped box, which features similar imagery, aired regularly. Most recently, Nas's video for Hate Me Now sparked its own controversy when Sean Puffy Combs assaulted an Interscope Records executive after the video aired. The video featured Puffy nailed to the cross, a blasphemous image that Puffy requested be cut out of the video after it was shot. Violence and guns are also taboo, but are a part of certain artists' reality and consequently what they write about. This poses problems when it's video time. Artists like Public Enemy and N.W.A. receive little or no airplay for gun-heavy songs such as By the Time I Get to Arizona and Straight Outta Compton. Even Michael Jackson ran into trouble with his video for Black or White, the surprisingly violent ending of which featured Jackson smashing store and car windows interspersed with dancing and crotch grabbing. After receiving numerous viewer complaints, Jackson resubmitted the video, minus the controversial ending. And from Madonna's very own record label, Maverick came Prodigy. And while Smack My Bitch Up doesn't have any guns or crosses, it manages to cross the line on every other level. It's got nudity, drug use, and violence. The video aired no more than eight times between 2 and 6 a.m. with a disclaimer and was never seen again. It was directed by Jonas Ackerlund, who also brought us the Cardigans controversial My Favorite Game, and Metallica's Turn the Page, which underwent serious re-editing before it was deemed arable. Another video that went under the editing knife was Nine Inch Nails' Closer. The massive edit so outraged director Mark Romanek that he had his name removed from the clip. Still, it was nominated for a Video Music Award in 1994 for Best Art Direction, but lost out to the previously mentioned heart-shaped box. So, as we move into the next century, societies and MTV standards will continue to evolve. But rest assured, no matter where the line is drawn, somebody's bound to cross it. And it'll probably be Madonna.